my bag and I can get kind of like crushed. <laughs> So today we are going to do something fun, I hope. Um, I want to do one of these using only cheap art supply videos. Yes, I have already been using this, so I'm really sorry that it's not going to be a shot of me opening this up and being totally surprised how awful, dry and shitty it is. Oh, no, you know what? Let me, let me fix this. <gasps> oh my god! These look so dry and shit. Oh no, what have I done? Oh. There you go. <laughs> so I really don't want this video to be a cheap art supply challenge in the sense that I'm gonna make things extremely difficult for myself. I do understand that these videos are really entertaining and every now and then I watch them too and uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty fun. But sometimes I feel like um, artists are just trying to do things as difficult as they can for themselves, just for the entertainment value. Oh my god, I've got it a really shitty watercolor set and oh, an awful brushes and the worst paper of all time. Oh, it's gonna be so horrible to work with it. Perfect. That's why I didn't buy any of these cheap ass brush sets um, in the shop where I got this. I took a look at them and they looked horrifying and there's no way I'm gonna spend any kind of money on them. I kind of just want to see how far I can take this and how good I can work with it. Because I feel sometimes like if you're very active on social media and on YouTube, then it's really easy to get caught up in this thought that you really need um, top of the line art supplies and it's really fun to, to um, discover new stuff and it's really fun to try out new stuff. Um, and I myself did buy things that I saw in other artists' posts or in other artists' videos because I was really interested in them. I just don't want any new artists that are just starting out um, get the feeling that they really need to first buy really high quality art supplies to start their journey because I don't think that's true. Yes, things are definitely easier if you're already using um, higher quality art supplies. If you are on the budget, if you don't have a lot of money for art supplies, maybe you're still living at home, you are a student and there's just not a lot of money left to invest into art supplies, then working with the things that you can afford and making up for the limitations, you know, just um, figuring ways um, around the, the issues that inexpensive art supplies might have is also something that will in the end have a part in forming your style and I have been working with a pencil on whatever paper for the majority of my life. I really didn't have a lot of money to buy a lot of art supplies when I was growing up. I feel that now just the fact that I have been using my pencil so much it definitely made me a bit more confident in my line work. This was a really long speech and I'm really sorry for the um, long introduction but this is something that is important to me and um, yeah I just hope it, it makes some kind of sense because in my head it does make sense but my thoughts are in German so I'm not quite sure if I was able to convey my thoughts the way I want. Okay, but I am not only going to use this, I am also going to use inexpensive paper. And um, to be quite honest, this paper is worrying me a little more than 
these watercolors. This was the thickest paper that I was able to find and it is 190 gram per sheet. Is that how you say it? So it's not really thick, but it's still a lot thicker than most of these um, watercolor pads for kids that I have. So we, we will see how this, um, this is gonna turn out. Oh, and right, I didn't say anything about the price. So this was four bucks. And I'm just saying bucks because I hate the way I pronounce euro, euro, you bucks, four bucks. And I was really surprised that they didn't have anything less expensive than this because I feel like four bucks for this is still really, really expensive. So I bought these yesterday because I was planning on doing the video yesterday, but you know how we do things here. We procrastinate a lot. So I bought these yesterday and today I went into a different shop because I just needed some chewing gum. And then I saw that they had a watercolor set for only one new, one buck. And I was really annoyed that I didn't go to that shop yesterday. But this whole idea just happened on a whim. So I was standing there and contemplating whether I should buy another shitty watercolor palette just because it's even cheaper I, I i didn't want to spend any more money on this video but if you enjoyed this video then i will definitely do another one and then i maybe try to stay within a really tiny budget maybe like five bucks and just see how much i can buy for that and try to make some art out of it but we're gonna stick to this shitty one and to this shitty paper, I'm just gonna turn you around for a bit. Film the floor because it's a mess. Oh fuck, I should have emptied my paper bin. Okay, so I already transferred the sketch. Uh, this is it. This was actually pretty difficult because my light table isn't strong enough or bright enough um, so it was actually kind of difficult to see the lines underneath even though this paper is really thin like now when I look at it I can actually see that the nose is a bit off but yeah we're just gonna stick to this and uh, I'm actually a bit nervous about painting this because I do not trust this paper at all and here are just the uh, swatches I did yesterday when I was trying out the color palette and this looks fine it doesn't even drop all that much but we're just gonna try this out. First I'm gonna drink my coffee and then we're gonna start. Okay, so I am ready to go. And I am already apologizing in advance for my head showing up because I know it will happen. You have no idea how many videos I had filmed and then looked through the footage and my head was the star of the whole show so these videos never saw the light of day and you would think that i would eventually get how far i can go with my head without it being in frame but i don't i just don't and i have no idea how other people are doing it because this feels so weird and uncomfortable to me to be so far away from this. I've talked enough. I'm just gonna start now.
update. I am actually quite happy with the skin. Um, normally I would just leave this and then go in with colored pencils just to put a bit more reds and blues into the skin. But I, I don't really want to damage the paper and these um, inexpensive colored pencils are a bit harder so I think I will end up damaging the paper a bit too much and I was thinking maybe going in with uh, my um, Prismacolor or Polychromo colored pencils but this would kind of defeat the purpose of this video if I would start to incorporate more expensive art supplies, I guess. So I think I'm just gonna leave the skin for now. Either go in later with more watercolor or at least try my color pencils, but I'm kind of scared that I would mess up the paper so bad then um, I wouldn't really have any more chance to go in with watercolor after that. So yeah, I'm gonna think about that and uh, just keep painting, but I don't I don't hate this. I'm actually quite surprised how um, okay they were to to blend. Moving on. No. Okay, one other thing. This this red is so weird. Like on, on camera, this looks a bit more intense than it is, but this looks just brown to me in real life. Hmm. You can see this on my, like, no. On, on camera, this looks a lot more saturated and a lot brighter than it looks in real life, but moving on. I'm at the halfway point now and this would be the time where I would start going in with colored pencils. And I think I'm just gonna try this and see how far I can take things with them. This looks all very um, pale and it's because the um, liner that is also on colored pencils is fading a bit so once I go in and um, darken up some parts it's gonna look a lot more finished. This is also gonna keep me motivated to keep working on this because right now this just looks like I have barely done anything. So I'm just gonna try that. Oh my battery is dying! No! Okay, so here's the thing. While I was filming today, I made sure to put the battery into the charger whenever I wasn't filming. So whenever I had a coffee break, whenever I had to take a phone call, I took the battery out, put it into the charger just to make sure that I wouldn't run out of juice. And now I realized that this adapter thing of my charger wasn't plugged in properly. So this whole day I wasn't charging shit. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Either my big ass head is blocking the complete frame or I'm running out of juice or I'm running out of daylight. These three things are like my Bermuda triangle of shit that keeps happening and my videos just disappear into it. Rent over. I need to get this done. Colored pencils.
this paper really doesn't take my colored pencils well and I messed up the nose a bit. It, I think it damaged the paper right here and I tried to go over with some watercolor again to see if I can smooth things out but I think there's just really nothing I can do about it so being so careful with this colored pencil is just really annoying because I have to softly go over places again and again just to um, get some color out of them so yeah that's my update for now and I'm just gonna keep working and hopefully we are gonna get this done within the next hour that would be amazing see you in a bit <laughs> time for another update. Um, as you can see this looks a bit more finished now and I'm really sorry but my battery died. I did some of the line work with the watercolor because using the colored pencils really was going just nowhere. Um, they, the color doesn't show up on this paper very much and there is a Muppet. Okay I think he's gone now. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is finish the eyes and go over with some black watercolor. Then I'm gonna use the white and um, I don't know what this is called but I'm gonna make the jacket look a bit more used. So maybe this is gonna help to make it look a bit more finished. Oh and I think I forgot the buttons. So I'm also gonna paint in some buttons and fingers crossed that the battery is gonna just, uh, is gonna last for the, the last painting stretch here. Because it's starting to get dark. Because of course fucking yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is as far as I'm gonna take it because it's 6 in the evening right now and I'm tired and I'm hungry and I feel like every single one of my videos ends this way. <laughs> oh, but I, I mean I'm not completely in love with this. Um, I really wish I could have used more colored pencils to give this some texture. I'm, I'm okay with this. For what this is, a kid's um, watercolor palette, I think this is pretty good. I really didn't mind working with the watercolors. I think these are okay. I can work with this. Um, it's just this paper. It's just this paper that really made things a bit more difficult for me. And maybe I can do 
a video in the future where I'm still gonna use these but just some proper paper um, because this took me a whole lot longer than I expected just because I had to be so damn careful and of course because of the battery situation once again I hope you enjoyed this and I really really hope that when I'm gonna take a look at the footage that my biggest head is not gonna block everything and uh, the battery is dying on me so oh, wow it looks like I haven't slept in forever hey it's editing Claude here and I did take a look at the footage and there wasn't a single frame where my biggest head wasn't showing up and for the most part I was pretty much blocking out everything I was drawing or painting so that was really fun to edit um, I need to seriously rethink my setup because this shit just keeps happening to me I filmed so many videos that I never ended up using because of you know my Bermuda triangle of shit and I was seriously entertaining the thought to just strap the camera to my forehead just to avoid my head showing up in the frame but I don't think that's gonna work out I tried my best to cut this video in a way to show at least a bit of what I was actually painting so yeah I'm definitely gonna rethink my camera setup because I need to find a way to stop myself from messing up my footage and uh, yeah, I I kind of don't feel um, like I am in a position to ask anybody to subscribe to me. Maybe if you like to see people fail, then that's definitely a reason why you should subscribe. Because I'm pretty sure that I will find more creative ways to um, self-sabotage my channel. So yeah. You can definitely join me on my journey and see how bad I can uh, take things. <laughs> That's it for me. Have a great day, guys, and bye! I think it's kind of important that when you have an art channel to actually show the, the art bits. Um,